Hi, it's Yolandi from Good Night. Another quick and easy way to improve your child's sleep is by creating the ideal environment for sleeping. For a baby, the first and foremost thing that is important, not just for a baby, for a toddler and for all children, is to create a safe sleep environment. Um, safety first, and with a baby, this means clearing out the cot. No loose items, no loose bedding. Um, your baby should sleep in a safe sleep sack or sleeping bag. Um, no um, cot bumpers to, uh, that can inhibit airflow. Um, they should only be sleeping on their back on a mattress that is fitted to the cot. Okay. Also remember with safety that from around five months when your little one can sit up, you want to move your cot down. A bassinet is no longer a safe space for a baby as they are top heavy and if they can look out of the side, they can fall out of the cot or the bassinet. Also, co-sleeper, the sides are a little bit low. Um, so when you talk about co-sleeping, it might be time to just move your baby to a cot right next to your bed um, where you can move it down. Um, remember that with a sleep space, it also is helpful to have a consistent sleep space, a space where they can sleep during the day and during the night that's always the same or at least similar. This helps with creating that safety and that sleep association. Remember, the cot is not a, a play area, it's a sleeping area. So don't have mobiles or stuff hanging over, um, uh, over the cot as this can signal them and wake them up during the night and think, oh, it's party time and it's sleeping time. On that note, keep it as dark as possible in your child's room. They spend a lot of time in light sleep um, where they often open up their eyes. And if they're opening up their eyes and there's a light or a small night light, anything like that, it can actually wake them up completely. We want them to, when they open up their eyes, to be like, oh, my eyes are still closed and continue to sleep. It also counts for naps to make it dark. It doesn't need to be as dark and pitch black dark, but a little bit dimmer can help to improve the naps during the day. Sound like white noise can be helpful, especially with small babies or if you have a rowdy toddler running around. Um, white noise, though, is something that is just a shh, um, monotonous kind of sound in the background. And this should not be on a timer. And music is not a great white noise either. Music is great as part of the bedtime routine, but as soon as you put your baby down, a more monotonous background noise, even like an aircon or a fan, can be a great background noise. So just filter out um, certain sounds and help your baby to sleep longer. I hope these tips help you. And remember that we are still open for business and ready to help you sleep better. So please follow, um, um, phone one of our consultants. Technology is on our side and we can still provide the same great service. Good night.